Rachel Gall here, Flying Cloud Smart Schools Educator. I'm going to be doing some kitchen science that you can do while you're social distancing or really anytime. I often get asked, what is lactose intolerance? And the first thing to know is, what is lactose? Lactose is the sugar that naturally occurs in milk. Our bodies use sugar and like sugar, but we need it in a form called glucose. So our bodies have an enzyme called lactase that breaks down lactose into glucose. Well, if we're missing that enzyme, if our small intestine doesn't make that enzyme, then we can't break down the lactose into glucose, and we are lactose intolerant. We have an option, though, if that is the case, and that is to actually purchase the enzyme in the form of these lactase pills, and that will actually turn the lactose in the milk sugar into glucose. So today we're going to do a little experiment to gather some evidence that in fact the lactase pill does indeed break down lactose and turn it into glucose. Um, what we're going to need for this experiment today in addition to our milk is a mortar and pestle. This is to grind up our lactase. We're also going to need a cup for the milk. We're going to need the lactase enzyme and these test strips. So I've labeled two test strips. One of them I've labeled plain milk and the other one I've labeled with lactase. And you can see the instructions for the test strips say that we should put them into the solution for one to two seconds and then read them three minutes later. These are going to test for the presence of glucose in a solution. I'm pouring a little bit of milk into my cup. Now the first thing I'm going to do is test that plain milk. I just want to see if there's glucose in the plain milk. So I have to put this in for two seconds and then leave it aside for three minutes. Now I'm going to bust up this lactase enzyme in my mortar and pestle. Crush it up there. You can see that it's crushed up. And I'm going to pour it into the milk. Okay. Stir it around a little bit. So let's check out the plain milk glucose test strip. It looks to me like it has not changed color at all. Um, it looks like it really matches up with that zero presence of glucose. So now I'm going to test the milk that has the lactase enzyme in it. Remember we mix that lactase enzyme in and I'm going to hold my test strip in for two seconds. And then take it out and leave it here for three minutes. So what I'd like you to notice now is that the test strip that was in the milk with lactase in it, with the enzyme in it, actually has turned a pale shade of green, whereas the original test strip, the one that we put into the plain milk before we mixed any lactase in it, um, has remained its original yellow color. And if we actually hold that up a little bit to our package, we can see that the green corresponds to the presence of glucose, and the yellow corresponds to no glucose. So we started with the question, what is lactose intolerance? And I explained that lactose intolerance is when the body just can't turn lactose sugar into glucose because it doesn't have the right enzyme, it doesn't have the lactase enzyme. What we have gathered is some evidence that the lactase enzyme really does have an effect on milk. The effect we can see that it has um, is that milk that has lactase enzyme will make this glucose test strip turn green, indicating the presence of glucose, whereas plain milk that doesn't have any lactase enzyme mixed in with it um, doesn't show any evidence of having glucose in it. It leaves the test strip plain yellow. From Flying Cloud Institute, thank you very much for watching and be well.